welcome to bio class class 10 today we are going to discuss that part excretion hmm. uh, the first we have to understand the definition of it excretion is the process by which the metabolic waste products and the toxic materials are removed from the body of an organism you have to carefully you have to keep in mind this metabolic waste metabolic waste what is what is that that you know that the in cellular metabolism is very long process here the digestion absorption energy production after uh, energy production um, that is the end of the metabolism so in this long um, process the several products of uh, cellular cellular product Uh, are so treated that they take no further part in metabolism so no further part in meta- metabolism this by products waste product they are removed from the body in uh, liquid or semi liquid substances okay basically these are the nitrogen product in our body like uh, <coughs> urea urea ammonia ammonia amino acid uric acid all this are there in animals so uh, especially you have to keep in mind when you are writing the definition of uh, excretion that here is the um, removal of metabolic waste metabolic waste products if you write only waste product and the waste material is removed from the body then in in this class 10 standard it will be wrong okay let's take a look that uh, other part of it here is our excretory systems look at here that kidneys the pair of kidney i think if you carefully take a look then these are not in same plane uh, this right kidney is little bit down that is 1.25 cm and here uh, this kidney it is attached with the ureter both the sides and it's connects to the urinary bladder and it opens in urethra look at here look at its blood line also uh, inferior vena cava this inferior vena cava line it uh, enters this two sides renal vein left and right and aorta also uh, it it means that this vena cava and aorta they are having this the two different left and right uh, artery or vein hmm, which enters inside the kidney this kidney is a uh, 150 g weight and here is a ureter it is a 25 to 30 cm long and where the urinary bladder it is a pouch like and its capacity is 500 to 600 cc but urination is takes place you know that when uh, 300 cc is filled means half of it <coughs> urethra it, it is a um, uh, long in case of male and the female it is short so which opens and the urination blocker <coughs> here you can see that the how kidney is placed uh, here is the ureter you can see that how um, here is the urinary bladder how it opens okay here is our kidney you can see here uh, it contains a huge number the 2 millions of nephron it means that the inside the kidney the only nephron is there nephron is is a long loop like thread like structure here this one hmm. so like st- structure which fills this areas um, this cortex and the medulla both the a- areas of the kidney so 2 millions of uh, nephron is found in in both the kidneys uh nephron uh, it is 30 to 40 mm long uh, that thread like structure which is called the 
unit here unit of the process um, if you calculate then it comes an 80 kilometer long uh, I mean thread which is there inside hmm. and in in these uh, nephron that uh, form urine is formed and water balance and all these things is done it means in other word if you know about the nephron the structure of the nephron you can understand the function of the kidney hmm, and how the urine will form let's take a look on structure of nephron here is a structure of nephron you can see here the glomer glomerulus mm, inside the, this is the glomerulus the Bowman's capsule outside and uh, uh, afferent arterial and the efferent arterial afferent here the incoming efferent outgoing hmm. and after that the proximal convoluted tubule PCT in short the Henle's loop narrow areas and the distal convoluted convoluted tubule the DCT and the collecting duct look at here this uh, diagram is very simple if you compare with your books diagram in your books diagram and this diagram uh, no difference is there hmm. let's uh, uh, take a look that and compare you can see here only the difference here the blood lines which is which is not given the previous one and um, see the yellow color uh, tube here the yellow color tube you can see that the inside uh, glomerulus which is nate like structure and um, you can see the arrow um, the glomerulus the Bowman's capsule the outer covering after that here the proximal convertible which is the and the front side and the, this is the Henle's loop hmm. and the distal convoluted which is uh, connected to the collecting duct so this is very long tube uh, I mean 30 to 40 mm long which is connected to the collecting duct after that uh, it is it is connected uh, to the next uh, other duct and enter into the pelvis and the ureter and go to the urinary blood it means the inside inside uh, this the urine is formed hmm. now you have to see that the how urine is formed inside the nephron <coughs> now formation of urine the how urine is formed hmm. look at here this uh, this is the uh, nephron it is uh, drawn in a very schematic way here uh, in afferent arterial the blood will enter blood will enter here uh, the glomerulus glomerulus and it goes out the efferent arterial I think it is very clear that the when this wider route any liquid it comes and uh, uh, in compared to the narrow route it moves out then pressure is created here here in the pressure it creates so in that pressure that filter will take this which is called glomerular filtration so in the Bowman's capsule that huge amount if you calculate then in one day it is 180 liter 180 liter of um, blood is it is uh, filtered here and huge amount of the filtrate it is uh, we have got we know that only 5 liter blood is there so it is uh, obvious that uh, huge several times it uh, uh, again and again the filter taking place and the um, whole day if you calculate that 180 liter it, it comes when it enters inside the uh, proximal convoluted tubule, that several things the first of all that 150 liter of water water it is reabsorbed hmm, reabsorbed and some other selective uh, things will again reabsorb like glucose like amino acid like vitamin c lactic acid the whatever body uh, needs hmm, uh, that is reabsorbed why it is reabsorbed this is very uh, easy to understand if anything is present in the tubule then it is removed from the body if uh, this arrow is given uh, this outside it, it indicates that body again it is taking back taking back and the body will use it the first of all the 150 liter the water again it is taken back uh, and 
some other important thing like glucose like amino acid vitamin c lactic acid all everything it is again it is taken back now when it enters inside here in the hindley's loops here also uh, teen later of water also reabsorb and after that it um, goes that distal part of it the distal convoluted tubule hmm. distal convoluted tubule um, in these tubules also water if it is uh, 18 liters it is uh, again uh, taken back and here some other thing which is which can secrete if if it is not uh, i mean processed here hmm. uh like any um, any drug any dye hmm, any anything which can which is called tubular secretion always remember if if i mean glomerular filtration is on uh, then tubular secretion is less hmm. and there are some animals which are not there i mean glomerular filtration so that they are having the tubular secretion now this water secretion it is conditional it is conditional whether it is 18 liter 18 liter water will be absorbed or 16 liter it depends upon that body's condition and which is controlled by anti diuretic hormone adh anti diuretic hormone um, anti diuretic hormone will secretes then water will secretes more so i think you know that in, in rainy season in uh, uh, summer season that uh, urination the amount of the urine is not same hmm. uh, it is because the body needs more water in case of uh, summer season hmm, to make the sweat and other so in this way that uh, anti diuretic hormone will uh, secretes from the pituitary gland hmm, and so that the the amount of uh, water will uh, reabsor- uh, reabsorption it will vary okay so this is uh, formation of urine Excre- excretion in plant is not uh, like that complicated in human or animal here excretion uh, excretory product it is uh, um, it is stored in some places hmm. uh, excretory product may be um, that carbon dioxide oxygen water resin gums and some other material you can see that here the nicotine caffeine morphine all this it is stored in in the bark in in the leaf and after that the plant will shed this the the leaves that the fall off this wet waste product in that way it is stored because their waste product is not very harmful for for them in this way they are excreting okay so here is the um, the end of this uh, chapter hmm. that you have to uh, practice and uh, um, see the that process what whatever discussed today uh, please prepare and after that uh, some question answer also will be given very soon okay till then thank you